Hi everybody. It is uh, Thursday, January 30th, 2014. And I am sitting here in uh, the extra bedroom of my sister and brother-in-law's apartment. And I just found out that I got the 23 and me DNA test results. I have been waiting for these results for quite some time. And these results are also going to flow and fill the pages of whatever is going to be the next book. I'm not really quite sure what the book is going to be about, to be really honest. And I'm about to take off on a journey, literally in five days overseas. So I wanted to really capture this because I'm super nervous, I'm super excited. I have absolutely no expectations as to what these DNA tests are going to show. But I'm so nervous and I wanted to make sure I capture it on video. So I'm going to look at my computer here for a second and I'm going to click on, it says view results. So I am clicking on viewing the results. So let's see what it's going to be. Oh boy, any predictions? The anticipation is killing me here. I thought I was going to get these when I actually get to my destination, but it looks like I'm getting them a little bit earlier. So what I'm looking at specifically right now is my genome wide percentage of Neanderthal ancestry. That's kind of interesting. We'll see what it has to say. I wonder what my Neanderthalic history is going to say. An estimated 2.6% of my DNA is from Neanderthals. I'm not quite sure what that even means, because don't we all come from them? But here we go. So let's see the rest of it. And what I'm really looking at is uh, the maternal line and the paternal line and to see where it's going to net out. Huh. Apparently, I come from something called the hap, haplogroups, and uh, maternal haplogroups are families of mitochondrial DNA types to trace back to a single mutation of specific team of place. By looking at the geographic distribution of those types, we learn how our ancient female ancestors migrated through the world. And really, the whole point of all this is I know that my family were Eastern European Jews and were from Ukraine, but I was really curious to see how our blood got to Ukraine. And it looks like I'm a haplo group of K sub R and it's 35,000 years old. So whatever my bloodline is and my people, we've been walking around this earth for a long time. And the region are Near East, Europe, Central Asia, and Northern Africa. Example populations include the Ashkenazi, the Druze, the Kurds, and one branch of haplogroup K ties about 1.7 million Ashkenazi Jews living today to a single maternal ancestor. So perhaps all that Jewish mother guilt all comes from one mother. Can you imagine the amount of guilt that woman contained that 1.7 million Ashkenazi Jews keep passing it on to their kids? So, haplogroups of, oh, and then they give you a combination. So apparently I am what is called a K1A1B1A. And I have no idea what that means, but A2 is Eva Longoria. She's kind of pretty. Uh, haplogroup C is Yo-Yo Ma. And... 
I don't really have any idea what that has to do with anything that I am. Okay, so here it says, K split off more, K split off the more ancient hollow group you ate about 35,000 years ago. And since then, the haplogroup K has been involved in migrations from the Near East into Europe, most notably the founding and expansion of Ashkenazi Jewish populations. So, you know, my father said, you are most likely most of, uh, most of you is comprised of Ashkenazi Jews, which this confirms. But it looks like there's other things going on here, but I'm not quite sure yet how to read all this. But I wanted to do this live. Oh, haplogroups of famous people. Oh, this is just famous people and what theirs is. It has nothing to do with mine. But the regions are Near East, Europe, Central Asia, and Northern Africa. And while I had absolutely no um, expectations, I had a sense that there's some Asian blood and Middle Eastern blood running through our veins. And so, this is what it looks like. And if there's any biologists out there, you're gonna have to help me decipher this. But let us continue. Let us see what comes out from dad's group. My results, paternal line. Ooh, interesting enough, my paternal haplogroup is unknown. And it says, why do women have an unknown paternal line? It says we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. The 23rd pair is XX for women and XY for men. The paternal haplogroup is traced through the Y chromosome that's passed down from father to son. So both men and women receive information about their mother's and father's ancestry from the other 22. But uh, it says that I can link to my father's haplogroup. Let's see what happens. Oh, you know what? My my dad didn't do this test. Only I did this test, so I can't really um, do that. So I'm still not really quite understanding what my results are showing. Oh, so here it is. My ancestry composition hasn't been computed yet. And the results should be ready within about two weeks. So really, this is just some preliminary information where it's telling me where the maternal line has come from. And it's also told me how much of a Neanderthal I am. And uh, I'll just show you the map that I'm a subgroup of something called K. And so I'll just show you where K spread. So we're really only at the beginning. So as imagined, Europe, Africa, and Asia, and the Middle East. And uh, that's, that's where I thought it would be. And it looks like K is a subgroup of R. But yeah, 35,000 years. And uh, goes back to one Jewish mother. So think of all that guilt. All right, I will keep you posted. I will let you know how the rest of this goes, but we're getting there and most likely it looks like I'm going to get my results when I am overseas. And we'll see how that's gonna inspire the book. Thanks everyone, take care, bye.